Hey everyone, and welcome back to Stephanie Reacts to Once Upon a Time. So this is Season 4, Episode 18, Heart of Gold. Well, last week we saw Regina getting a heart, no a heart took out, but getting knocked out and put in her, <coughs> her vault. So maybe her gold took her heart, and that's probably the heart. Of gold, literally gold is her heart, heart of gold. Or maybe this new author guy, maybe he manipulates stuff, because he's at the book now. Maybe he writes, eh, Mr. Gold, aka Rumpelstiltskin, has a change of heart and becomes good for 24 hours or something. I don't know, I know you wouldn't be good, but you know what I'm talking about, like manipulating their lives, maybe, that's, maybe he's got like a change of heart, something like that, oh, I don't know, well maybe Gold takes Regina's heart out, you know, because maybe he puts Cora's arm in, but Regina put Cora's heart back into Cora when she died, so he, Regina's never not got Cora's heart in the book still, man, I don't know, so let's jump into this and we'll find out what the heart of gold is. I think it's gold's got Regina's heart maybe. He's one plan to control her. So let's jump into this and we'll see. Starting now. Previously on Once Upon a Time. I have something that will make Regina do my bidding. You have forsaken your holy duty. You must be punished. Now what do you say we let out the author think about this? I'm not worried about it, are you? We have a lot of questions. The author! Where is he? We lost him. So how you found him? We know him, Emma. What? We met him a long time ago before you were born. He yeah. manipulated us. It's because of him we were put on the path to causing Maleficent to lose her child. That's true. No, what's true is no matter how you were manipulated, right. you still did what you did and you lied to me about it. Well, she knows about You've been lying about to me about everything, about you, about me. That's about not the case. What well, you see my people do? Well, I'm not much of a writer, huh? but I do know something about magic quills. Such as? Well, for starters, they must be sculpted from the wood of enchanted trees, which, unfortunately for you, is not an attribute any of the timber in Storybrooke possesses. That's never. What did the doctor say? Not only what their small minds can comprehend. Prattling on about diets and exercise. They tell me it was a heart attack. But you have other ideas. My problem isn't physical. Magical. It's moral. All, right. All the dark deeds I've done... Didn't you? ...taken the toll. Poisoned my heart. Thickened the blood. Back in Storybrooke, I used magic to protect myself, but out here, I won't last without some. Well, unfortunately for you, Dark One, there is no magic in this world. True. We can't create magic here, but we can use magical items if they were brought from elsewhere. Nice landing. Can I assume you were apprehended unjustly? That's how you meet We're just trying to make something to eat, man. Well, then consider this a professional courtesy. You're a thief too, are you? Former thief. What's a former thief doing in Oz? I've come to steal a potion from a wicked witch that can mend a broken heart. So I guess the former bit was a bit premature. Are you mad? That's a right good way to end up dead, that. 
That's a risk I'm gonna have to take. Been offered a fortune to bring to let you die, but he just wouldn't listen to reason. Oh. So here I am. You switched the vials. I did. The one you drank won't cure your heart, but it will lessen the effects of seven cold and flu symptoms. Don't worry. It's non-drowsy. Why are you doing this? I've done you no harm. It's not exactly true. Never travel. Before you go, I'd like to thank you. For what? I failed. For trying. Not many have had the courage to do what you just tried to do. It was an inspiration. I'm sorry you won't be able to save your tavern. Me too. But I'd be even more sorry if you left here thinking you'd let down your wife. You're an honourable man, Robin of Loxley. You did the best you could for the people who needed you. Well... And if your wife is anything like the woman you said she is, then she's going to know what's in your heart when you get home. You may be right. I know I am, mate. Because when I was a kid, I had somebody in my life who knew me just like your Marion knows you. Who was it? Your sister. You lost her? She fell through the ice on a lake and drowned. You never intended to sell that passion, did you? You wanted it to mend your own heart. I can't move on, mate. I don't know how. Is that why you're out here, all alone? Doesn't seem fair to ask somebody for their heart until I can fix my own name. That is a noble sacrifice to make. Especially for a thief. Sometimes having a code is all we have. Good luck to you, Will. I hope you find what you're looking for. And good luck to you with Rumpelstiltskin. It's not easy to get the best of that one. It's going to be your happy ending. Yes. And is she? No. I don't know. Well, maybe you should take a piece of advice from a man who has pushed away every chance at happiness. Because it was never enough. If it's within your grasp, if you know what it is and who it's with, then you should run to it, grasp it, and never let it go. Do you think you're married for Mary? 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 Do you think you're Making the money that you owe. I don't have any money for you. Hmm. But well, this prison would be a fine place for you to think about what you've done. Why is Regina's number on here? I'm sorry. I've been thinking about that. Do you want to be with her? Yeah. I feel like you're here, but you're not here. I know this is hard. You need to make a choice. I don't want to have to worry about who I'm with. I'm here. Roland and I are fine. If you want to go back to Regina, then go back to her, but you have to decide what you want. I want to be with you. I love you. You once gave up everything to be with me, to be a bandit in the woods, and you said something to me once that I should have taken to heart. You remember? Of course. But I want to hear you say it. No matter where we are or what we face, oh, I want to be with you. And I meant every word. And now so do I. You want to give up? 
up everything to be with me and I lost sight of that. You were once my happy ending and I was yours. And we can't have that again. Really? I thought you were dead. And yes, the... now that we're back together, it's... It's a miracle. And only a fool would turn his back on a miracle. Rosalina and I have come to an understanding. And now you and I have an understanding as well. Regina, you are vital to my plan to turn the savior towards darkness. You have made me a monster. But I won't let you do the same to Emma. So you made your choice, honey. You're choosing the savior over your beloved Robin Hood. Aye. Is that your final answer? Everyone, that was Heart of Gold. Oh, that was a good episode, but it's a very slow one. All we had was a, a, a full episode for, for backflashes, the two backflashes it was, of Robin Hood it was, and we saw like Selena is back, like really, we did see some green stuff like coming from her locket that was locked away, like the green mist gone, but we didn't expect Selena to go back into the past with Emma and we didn't expect her to take Marion's form either it killed Marion oh flop and all this time when we saw Marion get frozen with Ice Queen that was actually Selena get frozen so she should have died and of course that was Selena get frozen would she have died? She's a magical creature. She's the witch, so I doubt she would have died at all. I think mm, somehow she needed out of Storybrooke. She had, she needed, but there was, she didn't get any magic. Except for the glamour thing, the Foley Clover thingy, the Robin Hood stole. So, uh, and we saw like flashbacks to Robin Hood. In Sherwood Forest, the evil, evil Nottingham, like the sheriff, told Robin he's got two days to give him money or he's going to shut down his bar, his tavern, and that. But I thought Robin would go steal him, the King Midas. Because we had little John talking to Robin before that, saying Midas is coming in. in that day or the next day. So I thought, because Robin turned it down, I just thought, oh, Robin's going to take the job then and do that. But he never. It was a job from Rumpelstiltskin. He took to go to Oz. As soon as we saw the intro, they then were excited. Like, we're going back to Oz? Oh. So I knew we were going to Oz, and I knew we would probably see Selena again. But, see Walsh, it's he actually did, do you know? Because, we, as we did know, from season three, Walsh was, eh, uh, Selena sent Walsh to keep her Emma, but two of them were nearly engaged, they were nearly. So, when his shop was still there, the wizard of, I forget what it was called, Oaks, the wizard of Oaks, it was called. So, with that being there, 
So that was just like an empty, sh empty shop then? Maybe? Or is Wall still there in New York? Because obviously it was Emma and him fighting. The walls fell, but he turned into a monkey for Reagan or anything. They saw him fawn, nothing else, never seen a body or anything, so... I'm guessing walls might be still alive then. And now Selena is in New York. So we've got the Wicked Witch, we might have the Wizard of Oz, in both in New York, be Robin Hood. Oh, so, uh, R Rumpel wanted to go to New York anyway, didn't he? But he wanted to go with his magic and terrorise New York, he says. I think it was to hook, he told them. Emma and all that and Sorbrick will be okay. It's New York, I'll have to watch out. <coughs> so now he was in New York. New York started dying or anything. It's got a heart attack. So that was the heart of gold. She was thinking a heart attack he was. But I think maybe the heart attack was cause uh, we bell and that. But bell done to him. But he did say he was not well. All the evil deeds was catching up on him. And then story broke he put a spell over himself so he doesn't get sick. So, oh, uh, and then we saw like Marion coming in with the real veil, because you thought Robin stole the veil from the Wizard of Oak, <laughs> gave him it, but that ended up being like cough medicine or something. But then we saw like Marion turning into Selena and saying she killed Marion back in the Enchanted Forest. So, oh, uh, no, and I thought. Rumpel took Regina's heart, that's how he planned to control her. It wasn't he? It was because Selena is with Robin. Yeah, the... Regina helps Rumpel to make Emma dark and evil. Or... He's going to get Selena to kill Robin. So maybe, um, maybe... She can maybe... Warn Emma, saying Selena's in New York, but Rumpel has blackmailed me. If I don't help him, he's got a killer. If uh, you get Selena to kill Robin, so maybe just maybe Regina might have to leave Storybrooke to get Robin back. Maybe then once they're back. I think it would be normal again, I'm guessing. Because Regina won't have any magic in the real world either. So I say maybe she can use her power on Marine and turn her back into Selena. Do that or something. And show Robin who she really is. Or, mab or maybe he just pulled the lock off her and she'll turn back into Selena. So, aye. Uh, and we saw like Robin helping Will in Oz. I, when we saw Will with the wee Vile, I thought Will stole it. He stole that out of you, Robin. But no, Robin actually gave him it with something known. So that was a good thing. Bless his cotton heart. Oh, that was a good thing what Robin did. So, like I say, this is just like mostly two backstories like nine weeks ago in a flashback with Robin and Sherwood Forest. It was. Then we had nine, no, nine weeks, I think, we say nine years, yeah. Nine weeks later, <coughs> we were today, kind of thing. So, I. So, everyone, the next episode will be Sympathy for the Devil. That's like a song, isn't it? Sympathy for the Devil. That's a good song, Sympathy for the Devil. She did the interview with a vampire film. Is, and I like that song, do not. I think it's Guns N' Roses, the song that like, Sympathy for the Devil. And if it is, I hope, I doubt we will. But I really, really hope 
we hear that tune on this next episode. But something must happen to be Cruella. Sympathy for her. So, does mean Cruella might be getting horror pains in? Maybe? I don't know. Hope so. See their rumples one may have all done. Then if Maleficent gets her child back, somehow, because Lily's in the real world, Maleficent's in Storybrook, but if Maleficent gets her child back, then I'll be two villains done and all three of them are away. So, aye. So, everyone, well, thank you for watching this reaction. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe. Doesn't cost a single penny. And have a good day, good night, good week, good weekend. Stay safe out there everyone, I'll see you then in the next one. Bye everyone.